Here we are at example 2D from our 4.1 set of notes. We're going to start off by identifying our A, B, and C. And there they are. And we're going to go ahead and write out our vertex formula. So x equals the opposite of b over 2 times a. And now we'll go ahead and appropriately place our values where they belong. So we have, according to the definition, the opposite of b. b in this case is actually a negative 8. And as a result, some students, they accidentally think, oh, this, this opposite kind of takes care of that value. No, 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 it's the opposite of our B value negative eight. So just don't fall for that, that little trap there. All over two times our A value. Again, in this case, we see that A is negative two. So we'll go ahead and plug those values in. And now we're gonna go ahead and simplify this up. So X equals the opposite of negative eight comes out to be regular eight on top. Whereas on the bottom, two times negative two comes out to be negative four on the bottom. And then as a result, x equals negative two. Now we'll go ahead and plug in that value. We have y equals negative two times our x value, negative two squared. Again, because that was our x value we just found. We're gonna plug them in. Uh, minus eight times negative 2 minus 3. And then simplifying this up, negative 2 squared comes out to be regular 4. And then negative 2 times 4 comes out to be negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 2 gives us regular 16. And then minus 3. And then lastly, just combining these all together, we should get five. So as a result, our vertex comes out to be negative two comma five. Again though, that is example 2D from our 4.1 set of notes.